Before we proceed, please note that this video is made by AI, but all the content is manually researched by our team and it's not AI generated. Here in this video, we are going to discuss the Sea of Thieves Easy Anti-Cheat Error Code 10009. The error reads, failed to execute the game process. As per the user's complaints, the error comes whenever they try to launch the game. Some users even shared that the game was working normally till there was a new game update. Once they installed the new update, they started to have this error. As of now, it is very unclear whether the error is coming from the EAC or the game itself. Now let's navigate through some potential solutions to this issue. First things first, consider the classic turn it off and on again method. Shut down your gaming device and router, disconnect them from the power source, and let them rest for about 10 minutes. After that, restart everything and see if the error persists. If you're still seeing the error after a restart, it's time to check for game updates. If there's a new update available, install it and see if the issue is resolved. Now, if the problem still doesn't go away, here's a workaround you can try. Start by restarting your device and opening the game. Then, tap the three-dot icon and select Manage. Under the Files section, choose Change Drive. No need to actually change the drive, just select the one where your game is currently installed. The game will likely do some internal scanning, and with any luck, the error will be resolved. One last method to consider involves your hard disk drive, or HDD. Some users have found success in uninstalling the game, restarting their device, and then reinstalling the game on their HDD. It's not a guaranteed fix, but it's worth a shot if you're still stuck with the EAC error code 10009. So, to recap, we've discussed four potential fixes for the EAC error code 10009 in Sea of Thieves. These include restarting all your devices, checking for game updates, a specific workaround involving the change drive option, and reinstalling the game on your HDD. Remember, every system is unique, and what works for one player may not work for another. But with these solutions, you're armed with the tools you need to get back to your swashbuckling adventures. If you like this information, don't forget to subscribe. It will be a great support. And for more tech updates, visit queries.com.